5.4 dividing polynomials in synthetic division, MA912.AR.1.5. We're going to divide polynomials by non monomials and write in the simplest form. We're going to use long division to divide polynomials by polynomials. We're going to use synthetic division to divide polynomials. We're going to use division of polynomials to solve real life problems. So some rules to remember is that we see u plus v over w. It can be written as u over w plus v over w. If we see u minus v over w, then we have u over w minus v over w. When we do a situation like this, remember that there, we need to put parentheses around the numerator of the numerator part. So if we look at example one, it says perform the division and simplify. So they gave us 12x squared minus 20x plus 8 over 4x. So you're going to simplify by first writing each one individually using the monomial. So we see 12x squared divided by 4x minus 20x over 4x plus 8 over 4x. So remember, 4 goes into 12 three times. There's two x's, so I become a power of 1. So I see 3x for the first part. There's a minus sign. Tw the x's cancel out, and then 20 divided by 4 is a 5, a plus sign. 8 is in the numerator, 4 is in the bottom denominator. So 4 goes into 8 twice. x is not uh, being reduced, so it stays as is. Example 3, 4, they want us to divide negative 13x cubed plus 10x to the fourth plus 8x minus 7x squared plus 4 by 3 minus 2x. First thing, notice that the first uh, polynomial is not in decreasing power, and we're dividing it by a monomial, uh, a binomial that is not in order. So first thing we're going to do is rewrite the 3 minus 2x as negative 2x plus 3, and we're going to use long division. And now we need to go in decreasing power. Power of 4 needs to come first, so 10x to the 4th, then the negative 13x to the 3rd, then the negative 7x squared, the positive 8x, and a positive 4. So when we go to polynomial long division, you always start with the leading coefficient. So I'm dividing by negative 2x, and I'm starting with 10x to the 4th. So what we're doing is we're saying, 10x to the fourth over negative 2x. That becomes negative 5x to the third. So since it's a power of 3, I need to sit it on top of the power of 3. So I'm going to write negative 5x to the third. And then going back to multiplications, like we were doing long division, you would multiply down. So I'm saying negative 5 times the negative 2 makes it positive 10x to the fourth, because power of 3 and 4. Negative 5x to the third times 3 is negative 15x to the third. But when we were in learning long division for the first time, we had to subtract through. So we are, you're going to change the sign. So I'm going to say minus plus. 10 and negative 10 cancel out. Negative 13 plus 15 is now a 2x to the third. Because we have two pieces that we want, we're working with two pieces. So I'm going to slide negative 7x squared down. And now we're going to repeat the same thing. We are starting with our first position and our first position. So we're going to say 2x to the third divided by negative 2x. That is now negative x to the second. So I'm going to write negative x to the second. And again, we're going to repeat what we do with the first one. So we're going to say negative x squared times a negative 2. That is now a positive 2x to the third. Negative x to the second times a 3, negative x, 3x squared. Again, change the sign. So this becomes minus, that becomes plus. 2 minus 2 cancels out. Negative 7 plus 3, that's a negative 4x to the second. And then again, slide down the plus 8x. Again, we're going to repeat. First divided by the first. So we have negative 4x squared divided by negative 2x. That becomes 
positive 2x. So now I'm going to write positive 2x. So 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4x to the second. 2 times a 3, that is positive 6x. And then again, we are change the sign. So this becomes positive, this becomes negative. Negative and positive cancels out 8 minus the minus of 6, that is 2x. Bring positive 4x down. And then we have the last piece. 2x divided by a negative 2x. So we have 2x divided by negative 2x. That is just negative 1. So I'm going to write negative 1. Negative 1 times negative. That is positive 2x. Negative 1 times a 3. That is negative 3. And then the last thing is change sign. So this becomes negative. This becomes positive. 2 minus 2 cancels out. 4 plus 3 is 7. This is our remainder. So our answer for homework purposes is going to be negative 5x to the third minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 plus our remainder was 7 over what we were dividing by, which is negative 2x plus 3. Example five, they want us to divide x cubed minus two by x minus one. So when we come to a problem like this, if you see that what we're dividing by the binomial is a single value coefficient of one, if you see something like this, we are gonna use synthetic. So you're taking this piece, think of x minus one and set it equal to zero. So x is equal to one. We're gonna put a one in the corner, and then you're gonna take this piece, what we're dividing by, and fill in the placeholders. So if you are missing a power, you need to put a zero in its place. So think of it as you're seeing x cubed plus a zero x squared plus a zero x minus two. So for synthetic division, you're gonna use the coefficients. So we're gonna use the one, the zero, the zero, and the negative two. So I'm gonna write one, zero, zero, negative two. All we're gonna do is multiply. So we're gonna say this one, the first position slides down. So I'm gonna bring the one down. This number on the outside, what we found earlier is what you're gonna use to multiply diagonally. So I'm gonna multiply by one. One times my one is a one. And then we are going to add down. So I become a positive one. Then we're going to repeat again. You're going to multiply by 1. And then you are going to add down, which is a 1. Again, you're going to multiply by 1, and we get a 1. We're going to add down, and we get negative 1 as our remainder. So remember what we started out with. We had a power of 3. If we took an x away, so this is going to be the plain number. This is going to have an x attached. That is going to be a power of 2. So your answer becomes x squared plus x plus 1 minus 1 over what we were dividing by, x minus 1. This is me example 8. This says the area of a rectangle is x squared plus 2x minus 15 square feet, and its length is x plus 5 feet. They want us to find the width of the rectangle. So remember, they told you the area of the rectangle. So remember the area formula is length times width. So they told you the area was x squared plus 2x minus 15. And they told us that the length was x plus 5 and they want us to find the width. So we're basically dividing both sides by x plus 5. So it means we're going to use synthetic. So I'm saying x plus 5 equal to 0. x is a negative 5. So we have negative 5. x squared has a coefficient of a 1. Then we have a positive 2x. So a positive 2 and then a negative 15. 
Remember, the first one slides down. So the one comes down. And then you are going to multiply by that outside number. So one times negative five is negative five. Two minus five, that is negative three. Multiply by that outside number, negative three times a negative five. That's a positive 15. Zero remainder. Those are good. You want zero remainders if at all possible. Again, started out with a power of two and I took away an X. So this is plain number. That is an X. So X minus three is our answer for R within this instance.